Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking an in-depth look at Zorn OS 17.3, a release that promises a fresh start for countless aging PCs, but not without highlighting some truly frustrating realities about modern computing. A dire alternative to a fading era. With Windows 10 reaching its end of life and millions of machines left behind due to the ever-escalating hardware demands of Windows 11, Zorn OS 17.3 steps in as a lifeline. But let's be honest, the fact that we're forced into this corner is a bitter pill to swallow. It's a stark reminder of how the tech industry seems to deliberately leave so many users grappling with outdated systems, making them unwitting victims of planned obsolescence. Features that aim to simplify a complicated world. Zorin OS 17.3 isn't just a stopgap measure. It brings a suite of new features designed to provide a secure and user-friendly experience. One key upgrade is its expanded built-in database, which now recognizes installer files for over 150 popular Windows applications. Instead of struggling with clunky workarounds or outdated executables, users are directed to native Linux alternatives, an approach that feels both innovative and, frankly, overdue. Privacy first, even if it's too little, too late. In a world where privacy seems to be an afterthought, the new default web browser in Zorin OS makes a bold statement. After stepping away from Firefox, citing recent policy changes that conflict with its privacy-first philosophy, Zorin OS now ships with Brave. With built-in shields against trackers, fingerprinting, and even a Tor-powered private browsing mode, Brave is set to reclaim some control for the user. Yet, this switch also underscores a somber truth that even our browsers are not immune to the creeping loss of privacy in the digital age. Seamless integration with a hint of frustration. For those who crave an interconnected ecosystem, the upgraded Zorin Connect promises smoother integration between your phone and computer. Features like syncing notifications, file sharing, and remote control of media playback are undeniably useful. However, the extra steps and occasional quirks serve as a constant reminder that even the most promising innovations can't entirely mask the inconvenience imposed by today's fragmented tech environment. A mixed bag of improvements and persistent woes. From enhanced touchscreen support to updated hardware drivers, including the latest NVIDIA 570 drivers, Zorin OS 17.3 has clearly been engineered with both performance and longevity in mind, boasting support and security patches until 2027. Yet, these updates also spotlight a pervasive sense of disillusionment. It's hard not to feel that, while Zorn OS is doing its best to rescue us from the relentless march of unnecessary upgrades, it's fighting an uphill battle against a system that seems designed to force us into new and often expensive ecosystems. Final thoughts. In summary, Zorin OS 17.3 is a significant improvement for users caught in the trap of obsolete hardware and invasive tech policies. It's a pragmatic solution for those unwilling to throw money at new computers, yet its existence is a bitter commentary on the state of modern computing. While it may provide some much-needed relief, it also leaves us with a lingering sense of frustration over how far we've strayed from user-friendly and sustainable technology. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video! Peace out, everybody! And don't forget I'll be posting videos daily without missing any day. So don't forget to like my content, share my content on all social media platforms so we can build a larger Linux community and conquer the world with love. And finally, don't forget to subscribe to my everyday content. Bye, have a wonderful day.